what enticed you to participate and join Hex? Well, um, by nature, I hold, and Hob Pro actually, the, the name of holding um, Hodling, I kind of took back and took that and made um, it into my name. There was a um, there was a forum called uh, it was BitcoinTalk.org, I believe, and GameQB said, uh, "I'm Hodling, who's a trader." Mm -hmm. And Hodl means you hold your coin, you don't mm -hmm. trade it. And he was intoxicated, so he um, misspelled it as Hodling, and everyone thought it was funny, and they adopted the term. But um, anyway, uh, one a good way to not to hold is to find a um, coin or token that has a good utility. You start reading the white papers, you start um, doing more than, you know, dog coin trading, which has its utility, you know, but of course. Um, I, on my way to Hex, I, uh, I found Ethereum very amazing because you could develop on it. And um, so I, I got some of that Monero for its obfuscation uh, capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing. Um, I heard about Hex from a truther friend named Lee, and um, and I looked into it, and it was the first um, that I had seen certificate of um, deposit cryptocurrency. Um, reading more into the system of it before even knowing about Richard Hart or anything like that, I thought it was an absolutely amazing idea. Um, it, the the functionality that was built into it. I mean, when people are asking, is this coin a scam? Like you could scam, you could you could make a, a coin and um, scam with a lot less functionality. There's too much work to be put in this for it to just be a, you know, take money and leave. Mm -hmm. And I think the moment I realized that is really when I realized they had a good accounting option. So when you end a stake um, and you, you can't afford it due to your tax bracket, there, there's a good accounting option which will allow you to pause your T-share and mint your hex later. And, and I was like, wow, they really thought, they thought of everything, you know? Mm -hmm. And so um, initially I had a little bit of Ethereum. I decided to trade my Ethereum into hex, you know, the price of hex. Um, and I've only been in hex for like maybe five months now. Oh, so wow. I'm, not, I'm not an OG. Uh, a lot of people think that I've been in uh, hex a long time. I have not. Um, it started going up and I realized, you know, after really understanding what a T-share is and what it does, I went relatively all in in Hex. So I had not changed my hodled Bitcoin for all that time um, until I discovered Hex and I've been open-minded to every other cryptocurrency, you know, and uh, Hex, I think of a T-share as a miniature proof of stake miner. And that's really what it is. You're mining. I mean, legally it is too. It's technically mining income. So you're, I'm mining again. Being, being staked, I'm, I'm mining again, but I'm doing proof of stake rather than proof of work and, you know, making more money and onboarding people. So, I mean, Hex, um, Ethereum is a very close second. And of course, Bitcoin because of the legacy, but Hex is my favorite cryptocurrency right now. And I've seen a lot of currencies, I've cryptos, I've read a, about a lot of them. I don't, I don't exchange my crypto for something that's shiny and new that I don't understand, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I'm a big fan of Hex. 